Hi guys, Ryu here with none of it for Blender. In this one, we're going to be talking about how to increase the density of a circular boolean that's been applied to a mesh uh, with Blender uh, native tools. So I'm going to cut this with box cutter because it's faster. I'm going to simply slice it through. And you see that, uh, you know what, in fact, let's just uh, change the resolution of this cutter. So let's recut it again. And I'm going to hold shift and kind of reduce the the amount of the vert so you can actually clearly see how faceted you know this thing is, right? And I'm going to apply some bevel here and press one and there you go. So now uh, we got you know this uh, situation going on here. I'm going to apply this and I'm going to change how these edges flowing into the boolean because whatever blender is doing is retarded. So we're gonna fix this and make it proper, yeah. So Run it here, press E, and with a knife, we're just gonna simply cut it in here so it doesn't look like a pig. And let's remove these two because that's what's causing these issues here, and uh, also this on our side. So let's uh, symmetrize it with a uh, mesh machine, and we should be good. What is going on in here? Uh, double vert, so just press 3 and clean it. That didn't work, so. I'm gonna clean this manually. There we go. One more time, symmetrize it. Done. Okay, so we're here, and you know, you look at this, and you can see clearly that it's really, really, really faceted, right? So if you wanted to, I don't know, let's say, you know, introduce some really smooth bevel on this side, and do something like this, and you got this really nice rounded edge, and here you got this, you know, a bit of a pick of a thing. So we're gonna fix this with Blender tools. What you need to do is install add-on called Loop Tools, which is, uh, which should be installed permanently, to be honest, because it's just bloody amazing. So I go to um, uh, Edit Preferences, Add-ons, Type Loop. Uh, click this box, save prefs, you're good to go. So it's a Blender native add-on, so you don't have to download it from anywhere. It just comes with Blender. So now if I'm going to go here to edit mode, and let me just remove this edge because we will not need it. And I'm going to, without select this one and hold shift and select this one. And then I'm going to select the other side as well, because that's what you need to do. If you select one side, it will not work the way we intend it to work. And then uh, we're going to right click and subdivide it. You can see that the mesh was subdivided and it's a bit denser, but it still doesn't really follow, you know, this curvature. It doesn't really make it more supple. But if you're going to select them again, right click, go to loop tools and press on circle, uh, Blender will recalculate it and uh, fix it. So now you could just keep subdividing this, you know, um, as many times as you really want and you know fixing it with just simply running a circle then you can symmetrize it and then you can remove the middle because you see the middle doesn't uh, doesn't really work yet because it's not updated so you will need to run another loop in the middle so there you go guys it's a tip i picked up from job week and job week is a guy who created add-on called magic curve pro and uh, add-on i made a video on there are really cool uh, changes coming to this add-on next week and uh, one of them is going to allow us to do some insane stuff with uh, arrays and also decals because that's what actually uh, I sort of um, tipped them off on because you know we were trying to do something with Josh and didn't work so we kind of reached out to job week and said you know um, is that possible uh, but you know I'm gonna show you this next week guys but it's gonna be amazing um, together with add-on like uh, Instamat from Ole, uh, Oliver and this is probably the most amazing tool set for working with decal machine and creating some crazy stuff with decals simply pushes the envelope a bit further anyway guys hope you enjoyed the vid give us a like and sub if you did and I catch you in the next one